locked and sealed. Ballot boxes trickle into City Hall. If we break the seal, uh, two people have to sign, you know, that it's been broken and it's logged, and then we seal it back up when we take out of it what we need. And with each vote, the race between Mayor Johnny Dupree and challenger Dave Ware draws closer to an end. This thing through to the end tomorrow. 32 votes separate Dupree from Ware's lead after election commissioners counted the machine votes Tuesday night. But much like the June election, absentee ballots will decide the final numbers. Absentee voting has been very brisk. That we've had nearly double the amount of uh, absentee votes that we had during the general election. We ended up with about 55. More than double the number of absentee ballots in June, but more numbers means more challenges. And there were some complaints about the absentee ballots uh, not getting sent out on time. We're looking, I'm going to look into that. Some of those absentee requests came from Southern Miss students using their university P.O. box address to apply. Confusion stirred when multiple students used the 118 College Drive address. Officials say numerous applicants with the same address usually raises a red flag. The absentee ballots that were approved, along with the affidavit votes, will stay locked in City Hall until Wednesday. The affidavit ballots, the paper ballots, would be important, and they wouldn't be processed until starting 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. And then, after months of waiting, Hattiesburg residents will know who their mayor is. For Hub City TV, I'm Emily DeVoe. I'm going to break this seal that you've got recorded.